and children, you know whenever you are ashamed or embarrassed that you want to hide your face. Some children, even comically, will physically cover their face with their hand, although everyone can still see them. Now, we especially feel embarrassed when our most secret ambitions, our longings, the longings of our heart, when they are made public and they are mocked. This happened once to St. Teresa. This is the, the big St. Teresa, the, the one who started the Reformed Carmelites. She was a very uh, holy nun, and she is one of the, she's written many works about how to love God, about how to pray. Well, one of these works she lended to an acquaintance. It was a noble lady. She kept asking and asking for this book because she, as she told St. Teresa, she wanted to learn how to love God better and to pray better. And so at, at length, St. Teresa gave this, he, she lended the book to her. Well, one day, soon after, she overheard this noble lady reading the book. But she was reading it to her guests. She was entertaining them, and they were all laughing at what was read in that book. And you can imagine, children, the embarrassment felt by St. Teresa. She took the book back from this noble lady, and from that day forward, she would be very careful to whom she would trust it. Now, children, our Lord, he has felt this very same way. His deepest, really his only ambition in life was to make his Father in heaven known and loved. And the way people were to do this was by recognizing him, he himself, Jesus Christ, as the Son of God and to love him. Now we just read in the Gospel of the Mass what happened to our Lord when he publicly expressed this, his mission. The, the priests, those in authority, they rent their garments. That is, it was a sign that they were insulted, that he had insulted God by making that claim. And then all of those around our Lord, they began to spit on him. They mocked him, and they covered his face and beat him. Now, children, when we are treated in this way, when we are embarrassed, we often will look for a friend, a very close and trusted friend that will console us. Our Lord, he looked, and he looked, but he found no one. And that's why we have in the Mass of today as well, the tract. My heart, this is our Lord speaking, <clears throat> hath expected reproach and misery, and I looked for one that would grieve together with me, but there was none, and for one that would comfort me, and I found none. Now, children, we honor the holy face of Jesus. This devotion has come to each of us. It is a big opportunity for each of us because you have the opportunity to be that friend in the time of our Lord's need, his greatest need. He is looking at each of you for love, for that consolation. Look back at our Lord frequently, children. Keep uh, an image of his holy face close at hand. Keep one, if possible, even on your person and look at it frequently. Think of our Lord and just talk to him. Love him, pray to him. 
and something else you can do, especially during Lent, this would be a very good practice. <clears throat> Whenever you feel <clears throat> embarrassed or ashamed, perhaps because of a mistake you have made, because we all make mistakes, instead of becoming sad, angry, or even resentful at others who have possibly been the occasion of that shame, offer that embarrassment to our Lord. Think of his holy face. In that way, you will be acting just like him. It is because of this that St. Therese, now I'm talking about the little flower, St. Therese of the child Jesus and of the holy face, she learned through this devotion to even love, to be ashamed, that is to, be, to feel embarrassed. When others would see her defects, she actually rejoiced because she was able to imitate our Lord in his passion when he was exposed to the mockery of others. So when children this Lent, when you ever have an opportunity to be ashamed or embarrassed, think of our Lord, offer it to him, and you will console him in that way. My heart hath expected reproach and misery, and I looked for one that would grieve with me, and I found none. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.